Hey everyone, sorry I'm doing so many videos of just this little backdrop right now. As I've said before in other videos, it's absolutely crazy going on right now. I've got lots of updates soon to come, bunch of really big, cool, exciting changes. But there was a topic that I saw kind of pop up in one of the Facebook groups. I think it might have been Bro Facebook groups, Black Reptile Owners, um, that made me think about this and I want to kind of throw in my two cents. And that is the difference between a good pet reptile and a good beginner pet reptile. And so I think that kind of comes down to two categories. And, you know, with me today to kind of help talk a little bit about that is Rico here, or Puerto Rico is his full name. He's a hypo enchi ball python. Hopefully we're going to get some babies out of him. But, you know, with, the, with that being said, when it comes to beginner reptiles and good pet reptiles, I think it, there's a little bit of confusion that a lot of people get where you have a good handleable reptile like a ball python versus an easy to care for reptile like a corn snake or something like that. Um, and so I'm going to kind of go over the little bit of differences and give a couple examples of those. And I'm also guilty of even saying that these guys make good reptile, beginner reptiles, but I'll get to that in just a second. So when we talk about a good pet reptile, you know, the first thing that comes to mind is this guy right here, or maybe like a bearded dragon or something like that. And what makes a good pet reptile in a lot of people's minds is one that is easy, that's not crazy fast moving, that's not usually, you know, characteristically defensive or quick to strike or react, and one that is, in all honesty, very easy to anthropomorphize as easy as a snake or a lizard or whatever it is can be. That's what people do just inherently without even trying. That's just what humans do is we throw human characteristics onto animals to try to help us understand them a little bit better, which there's good and bad with that anthropomorphization. And so with that, that what a lot of people think is a good pet reptile. And I would be one to agree with that. Ball pythons, bearded dragons, and even boa constrictors can make very good reptiles. They're usually not reactive, they're very handleable, they can be personable, they're very quick to just be habituated to human interactions. But that being said, that doesn't necessarily mean that their care is the easiest of the different reptile species, which is why when I think of a good beginner reptile, that's where it changes a little bit. When it comes to a good beginner reptile, and while yes, if you're ever going to get a type of pet, regardless of what it is, you absolutely need to do your research. But with that being said, there's still a learning curve that even once you get it, once you've done all the research, once that animal is in your hands, in your care, there's still a learning curve. And we all make mistakes, myself included, but there are some reptiles that are a little bit more forgiving when it comes to that. And I see you keen on my hand, don't you think about it. Um, so something like a corn snake or a crested gecko, they're a little bit more forgiving when it comes to some of their care. Corn snakes, they can do a lot of temperatures, they can do a lot of humidities. They don't necessarily need UVB, but if you can do it, that's really great. Same with the crested geckos. As long as you don't get the cresties too hot, you're pretty much good. As long as you don't get the corn snakes too hot and too cold, you're pretty much good. They're very hardy reptiles. And there are other ones like that too. Like, um, in all honesty, I know in like king snakes and milk snakes, those are very good beginner reptiles. Um, and even a, a lot of people would kind of fight me on this, but it goes into what I'm talking about. Carpet pythons are very forgiving when it comes to husbandry and the kind of learning curve. There are some animals that are very receptive to changes in their thing. Like for instance, rainbow boas. That's why they're a more advanced species because they have to be kept cool. They have to be kept humid. And until you have some reptile knowledge under your belt firsthand, that isn't something that 99% of people would recommend. And that goes with a ball python too. These guys, especially depending on where you live, are very hard to dial in that 60-70% humidity that they need all of the time for their correct sheds and their correct health. And a lot of people take time, again, myself included, takes a little bit of practice to dial in even if we know that's what needs to be done. That being said, I don't think that these guys necessarily make bad beginner reptiles, just that that's why usually a ball python, even though I, once again, am guilty of saying that they are good, are not usually my number one. That's usually a different type of North American colubrid, like a corn milk or king snake. So that's all. I just wanted to dial in my little two cents about the thing, about the difference between a good beginner reptile and just a good pet reptile pet. 
Um, hopefully you enjoyed my little bit of a rant. I actually have a reptile on me today. Thank you for not being too, too crazy, Rico. Although I, you're starting to boa on me a little bit where you're just starting to go everywhere. Um, hopefully you're enjoying this reptile content. If you guys have any questions, comments, ideas for future videos, please let me know down in the comments below. Um, check us out on Patreon. You can check out our podcast on a bunch of different podcast channels as well as here on YouTube. Um, hope you're having a great day and we'll check you next time.